occurred. The 15th of July 1974, 22 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds local location, New Albany, IN, USA shape, triangle duration, 1, 30 minutes. No of observers, two characteristics, lights on object, aircraft nearby at 2230, my father and I saw a black triangular shaped object in the sky with three lights, one being green, the other two were red. It was a clear night, this object blocked out the stars where we were in the country around New Albany, Indiana by Highway 111. The lights were not bright and the object moved slowly without sound. The only movement we noted was the sway of the trees a thousand feet above us on the bluff. This object traveled west across the Ohio River and proceeded towards featuring Knox, KY. I myself observed the object for one and one half hours, even using my binoculars. Note my father was a loadmaster in the Air Force at the local base at that time, and commented to me, oh, they've had that thing for years and years. This craft has been seen by many other people as well but I do not know what happened to them. I have seen many UFOs high in the sky eerily daylight hours as well as nighttime. I saw the one in 1976 6 off Highway 95 and Interstate 10 South Quartz site, as the red glow that ran off left two F-14 in the dust. For years I have seen many things I watch Apaches, Cruzies, Patoids fly in Yuma, as in my siege I went to Roswell, Nanometer, to see for myself like you wanting to know. As a specialist in transporting electronic my job took me places far from city lights I have many other stores to tell. But most of all some of them are governments. The others yes they are. Now I am in Kresnet City, CA. To see wave when it comes. Occurred, the 15th of December 1977 12 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location, New Albany, IN, USA shape, disc duration, 1 to 2 minutes no of observers, 3 flat black disc, no lights, spinning with a slight wobble, no sound in 1977, my friend and his younger brother and I were walking through a field which is part of St. Mary's Cemetery. My friend spotted the disc first. We just stood there saying, what is that? The disc was flat black in color and seemed to have a darker small circle in the center of the disc. It appeared to spin in a clockwise or counterclockwise manner but would also wobble slightly. It made no sound, I'm not sure how high up this craft was, but I would estimate its size to the hole in the center of a compact disc. I saw this same disc years later at this field while watching New Albany's football team practice there. I've often wondered if this was a weather balloon, experimental military aircraft, or aliens. I can honestly say I will never cease to wonder what it was that I saw during the blizzard of 77. occurred the 7th of july 1978 12 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location new albany in usa shape other duration 30 minutes no of observers one in broad daylight it was as big as three aircraft carriers but as silent as air moving very slowly though the air at the front the shape was round and thick then it had like a narrow neck about half as wide as the saucer shaped front it then widened to like a square shape, but with wings, two sets of wings, like an aircraft. But the strange thing was that the front wings were much smaller than the back wings. And instead of facing the back of the craft, they angled to the front. The back wings were at the end of the craft, angled in the same direction. But were much larger than the front wings. I could see details on the craft, but what I remember most was the what I think was the power jet output ports. That's the only way I could describe them. Maybe eight two rows of four. Could see what looked like portholes on the side of the main square main body. It had so much detail, so dark and silnet. I must have had watched it passed over for at least 30 minutes. Believe me or not, this was not made in the USA, and it made a believer out of me. So big, so slow, so silent. If there ever was a mother ship, this had to be her sister. Occurred, the 18th of June 1997, 22 hours, 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location. New Albany, in, USA shape. Cigar duration, 2 to 3 seconds, no of observers. Zero characteristics. Changed color. Aircraft nearby the UFO was trailing the aircraft as I was standing on my balcony smoking late at night. Well after dark I saw and jet and landing pattern. As it flew from dark sky into sky that was lighter because of the city lights I saw something behind the jet, it was cigar shaped. The sighting lasted only 2 to 3 seconds as it changed color to match the sky it was flying in. 
I was unable to see it anymore. When I could see it, it was very close to the jet and bigger than jet aircraft. Occurred. The 1st of March 1998, 22 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds local location. New Albany, in, USA shape. Light duration. 1 minute no of observers. 3 bright welders arc light in the night skies over New Albany, Indiana. I have been seeing this object now for over 3 years till this very day and also see it about every night and wanted to share it with all who may have seen the same object or may find this object very interesting as I have. To see this object it's best to get outdoors about 15 minutes before dusk and any time thereafter before midnight. Although I've seen it at all hours from dusk till sunrise. This object may appear as a star in the night sky with no movement at times. The object appears mostly as a slow moving star at first and seems to have a very high altitude and moving along is the speed of a high flying commercial airliner. Sometimes it will stop in mid-movement also for as long as 15 seconds take or give a few. The most startling thing about this object is it will turn a very bright welder's arc bluish-white for sometimes as long as 15 seconds then go dim to a very faint-like star and go completely across the horizon till disappearing. This object will appear at any point in the night sky. Sometimes at the zenith, sometimes at the horizon, any location in the night sky this object may appear. I have observed it one time to go from a very bright spotlight like light to a sapphire blue in color. I'm still seeing this object to this day along with five other witnesses. Occurred. The 15th of October 1998, 15 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds local location. New Albany, in, USA shape. Changing duration. 1 hour no of observers. 3 characteristics. Aura or haze around object objects changed from oval to football shape for an hour one silver in color object was seen and observed for 20 minutes moving north to south before it stopped about directly overhead and was dead stopped in the air for five more minutes before I and three other witnesses noticed another object move from in in the same direction as this first object and both were in midair directly overhead and seemed to meet there for a specific reason. They were there for about five more minutes before both of them started moving together very slow toward the south. Five minutes later about 45 degrees above the horizon looking south toward the objects one started to move toward the west and one continued on south a few more minutes and then started heading directly south. We observed the southbound object for 25 more minutes before it was not visible to the naked eye any longer. The westbound object started to get obscured by the bright sunshine and was never seen again that we could see after about three minutes it headed toward the west. Visibility was clear and unlimited and not a breeze of wind to be felt. I did take a look at the objects with magnified eyepieces and thought I would clearly see a high altitude weather balloon but this was not the case. There appeared to be sort of like shock waves given off by the objects and every second they would go from a oval circle shape to a football shape of form. No aircraft of any kind was seen during this one hour period viewing these objects. Louisville International Airport is about 15 miles due south of where we observed these objects and was very busy taking incoming and outgoing flights till the objects seemed to be in the airspace of this airport. End of sighting. Occurred. The 18th of May 2001 21 hours 34 minutes and 0 seconds local location. New Albany, in, USA shape. Light duration. 20 seconds no of observers. 3 characteristics. Changed color bright lights appear then move off very dim in orange color this is the same object I've reported as a welder's arc blue light that doesn't twinkle when it shows up in the warm months about every night and sometimes 4 times a night over my vicinity in southern Indiana in New Albany. It appears as a satellite at times and disappears like some of the other reports that people have posted here. This object appeared this time at about 15 degrees directly south of the zenith at 9.34 pm on May 1801. The object moved directly north from south and moved very slow after turning a very dim orange in color. This object appeared right before my eyes at the location I mentioned and was a very bright light blue like light that got three times the size of the planet Jupiter at its brightest and when it dosed this it doesn't look to be hardly moving at all if any across the sky. 
After about 10 or 15 seconds, glowing bright like mentioned, it dims very rapidly to a dim orange in color and starts moving off very slowly still but faster than when it was brightly lit up. Since I've been seeing this object for over 3 years now I've given it a name and call it Kilometer 6. When I observe this object again I will refer to it as such and thanks for reading.